Today is Friday, September 24. My name is Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from 2 Samuel 24. Your Majesty, Aruna gives all this to the king. Aruna also said to him, May the Lord your God accept you. But the king, that is David, replied to Aruna, No, I insist on paying you for it. I will not sacrifice to the Lord my God burnt offerings that cost me nothing. 2 Samuel 24 verses 23 through 24a. Hearing the devotion on Deuteronomy yesterday, I had to think of this passage from 2 Samuel. This phrase of David is one that has stuck with me over the years. I will not sacrifice to the Lord offerings that cost me nothing. I feel like we've talked quite a bit in these devotionals and in sermons over the past year about humility and submission before God that there is a countercultural act involved in being a Christian that asks us to commit ourselves in submission to someone higher than ourselves, namely Jesus Christ. Since the atom bomb and technological revolution, the assumption of our culture is that we are gods ourselves these days, with the power to create and destroy, and so have the right to judge the gods of the various religions and call them to account as beings that, if they do exist, are no more than our equals, if that. Christian faith, of course, asks for a different posture, to fall on our knees in submission to our God and King, a God who is worthy to judge us, not we him. The paradox is that this posture of submission before God is actually the place of deepest freedom and fullest life, greatest empowerment. God also does not ask of us something that he himself did not curiously do. After all, God in Christ first submitted himself to our cruelty, sin, and violent death-dealing ways before putting these ways to death in his death, rising to a life that we now can receive when we submit to him. Submission to God is what we are called to. But it's hard work. We need practices that help train us in the rhythms of submission and that give us very real and practical ways to do it in our daily lives. Sacrifice and offering are just those sorts of practices. Offering is an offering not of something useless or that we've outlived our need for and are looking to get rid of anyway. No one makes a sacrifice when they put something on the buy-nothing group or out in the front yard free for the taking. No, offering is sacrifice, though. A giving away of something that has meaning, value, purpose, and real utility in our lives. It hurts a little bit to give it away. This is an act of trust that the God to whom we offer something is able to fill up the hole left by the thing we're entrusting to him. That brings us back to David's exclamation, I will not sacrifice to the Lord an offering that cost me nothing. You know, these are the last words of David recorded in the books of Samuel. And not insignificantly, this was the plot of land purchased for the rightful price and offered in sacrifice to God upon which the temple would be built by King Solomon. The temple was not built on the land that David violently conquered when he killed the Jebusites and took their city, the city that we now know as Jerusalem. No, the temple was built on the land that David peacefully purchased for the rightful price from Aruna, the still living Jebusite, and offered in true sacrifice to the Lord. So, God can bless those things that we offer to him. What will you sacrificially offer in submission and trust to God? As you journey on, go with that God's blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. 
and may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.